What's up YouTube, Christo here, and I've got another review for you. This is my number eight pick from my top 10 spring fragrances 2016. I Love New York for Him by Bond number nine. It's a lot of words and a lot of numbers in there, so hopefully I didn't muck that up. Um, this is a fragrance basically that was a collaboration between the I Love New York campaign and the Bond number nine fragrance house. Um, if you're not overly familiar with I Love New York, um, if you're not from North America, um, the I Love New York campaign is basically a tourist thing. Um, this is actually a trademark. So when you see I Love New York like this, it's actually trademarked and you're not allowed to reproduce it without their permission. So this fragrance and the line uh, that it came from or comes from, there were initially three. I Love New York for him, I Love New York for her in a pink bottle, and I Love New York for all in a black bottle. And I actually own all three of them, um, and all of which I actually quite like or um, you know enjoy wearing, uh, at least to some extent. Uh, Bond gets a lot of uh, flack, and a lot of people really hate Bond. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards the hate side, but there's definitely some really good fragrances from the house that I do think deserve some attention. But uh, this is a, a limited line. Um, they're definitely not as readily available as they were before, even on the Bond Number no. 9 website. Uh, the only original three that they have is this, but in a limited edition uh, package. I'll talk about that a little bit later with price though. But now there's so many different flankers. There's like, I love New York for fathers. I love New York marriage equality, um, Earth Day, things like that. And, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of them now. But this is part of the original three. Uh, basically, what they wanted to do was do a collaboration with the I Love New York campaign to draw attention to the state of New York and its tourism board, but also bring attention to the New York City based fragrance house. Bond number nine. So kind of what they wanted to do was present a cheaper, more affordable fragrance that still maintained a high quality by Bond number nine standards. So the packaging, even though the packaging for this doesn't look bad, like the bottle, I should say, uh, the actual box, which I don't have in Canada, um, is actually quite thin. It's a little bit different from the standard Bond case uh, or box. Um, it's not dramatically different. They still are recognizable, but they are a little bit slimmer, uh, more slender, maybe scaled down. So perhaps they saved a little bit of money in packaging. Uh, they claim they wanted to keep the same level of concentration and the high level of ingredients and whatnot. But... Um, you know, that's for you to determine. There's a lot of hate for Bond number no. nine. Um, and, you know, like I said, I'm more of on the hate side, but there are some great fragrances from the house. So notes for this. Um, I get a really simple, basically three plus one note breakdown. I get some yellow citrus in the opening, kind of a generic synthetic citrus, uh, yellow citrus. I'm going to go ahead and say lemon. Then I get geranium, uh, and then in the dry down, I get some leather and a little bit of patchouli. That's kind of like the three plus one. So basically, you're looking at citrus, uh, like kind of a masculine floral. I've always seen geranium as like a, a more masculine or the most masculine floral. Um, and then you get kind of like leather and patchouli. Now, what does this remind me of? Um, this fragrance reminds me of kind of like a barbershop fragrance for a young guy who's kind of not bold enough or not daring enough or too baby-faced to wear a barbershop fragrance, if that makes sense. And that's actually quite me. Um, I'm really baby-faced. I don't shave with straight razors and expensive shaving creams and foams. Not that I don't want to or that I can't afford it. I'm just the most baby-faced mid-30s, you know, man you'll ever meet. Um, but on top of that, I'm not particularly into overly masculine fragrances. I've been on kind of a kick recently with them, but um, I've been wearing this and enjoying this for a really, really long time. 
So it's kind of like a barber shop for like a young dandy or something. Um, a guy who kind of wants to look the role or fit the role or something. I wouldn't really say like a wannabe thing, but just kind of like a barber shop for a guy that's not quite ready for a barber shop, if that makes sense. Um, performance on this, um, and this is why I really enjoy this one. Uh, Comme de Garçon, Blue Sage Rat, I actually put a number nine. And the reason I put this ahead of it is because I get excellent longevity and projection out of this uh, for kind of a fresh spring fragrance um, that has like florals and citrus in it. I get excellent longevity, like 10 plus hours out of this, um, which is kind of what you would expect for a, a higher price bracket niche fragrance. Um, projection is great. Uh, you know, like well beyond average. I've worn this to the pub twice with the same friend, um, male friend, nothing funny going on there. Uh, but um, yeah, I wore this to the pub with my buddy a couple times and both times I got in his car and he's like, wow, you smell so good. And, you know, it just filled his car up instantly. And this is just like within the last couple months as well, basically testing for my review today. Um, so yeah, I think the projection longevity on this are well above average for your uh, kind of standard spring fragrance. Um, in terms of gender, yeah, I totally think this is more masculine leaning, but at the same time, it's not like super butch, uh, like, you know, uber male, lumberjack kind of thing. This is definitely more of like a masculine younger crowd um, and I've got no problem to admit that I, I'll wear that and I enjoy it quite a lot actually. Um, in terms of uh, you know uh, wearability and occasion uh, I think this is for spring uh, even summer I think this is great I think this is like a Swiss army knife um, I think it can just work anytime anywhere it's kind of nice enough to wear to work but it's kind of casual and fresh enough to just wear around the house to go do some grocery shopping, things like that. I think it works really, really well for spring. Um, in terms of price for this, now, if you're familiar with bond number nine, and you most likely are if you're watching my channel, um, and not that I'm a huge advocate of them, I am quite, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to criticize them or critique them, but I'm, you know, quite like that with any fragrance house. Uh, Bond gets a lot of hate, and one of the big things is that they're just not worth the retail price. And, you know, I agree 100%. Um, this on the Bond number nine official website, uh, they actually don't have the standard edition anymore. All they have is this, but with like a beaded chain necklace with like dog tags on it and they want 225 us dollars for that which is pretty steep um they don't have this in any other form but they have like the i love new york for uh marriage equality for earth day for fathers they have a few other from the i love new york series without the fancy dangly keychain or dog tags or whatever they're asking 175 dollars which is 50 dollars less you know, without the little metal necklace thing. Uh, if you buy this in Canada, uh, they actually have this at the Bay, which is like a big Canadian wide uh, kind of more upper end uh, department store. They're $200 a bottle. They actually just had a sale where they are half price. And these were a hundred Canadian dollars for a hundred mil, which is excellent price. I wouldn't think twice about that. Uh, on FragranceNet, I literally just double-checked before the review, and they were $95 US, um, free shipping in the continental United States, a little bit more if you get them shipped to Canada. But again, for 100 mil, which that was, um, I think that's absolutely an excellent price. I paid a bit less than that. I got mine from a local kind of discounter uh like kind of a, a division of TJ Maxx or Marshalls, um, kind of semi-unboxed for less than 50 Canadian, which is, again, an excellent, excellent price. 
Um, I've probably gone through about 35 or 40 mil of this in the maybe three years that I've owned it. Um, I really enjoy it a lot. I think it's a really great fragrance. Um, you know, say what you will about Bond Number no. 9. I know there's a lot of criticism out there for them uh, or against them, however you want to say it. And, you know, I'm one of them that would say that a lot of Bond fragrances are really poorly made. They're boring. They're bland. They're not creative, they're rip-offs, etc, etc, etc. Even though I can't say this is particularly original, I don't really think it's a rip-off of anything, and I think it is a great fragrance. If you're going to get it for like a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five per mil, I think it's a great buy. Um, it's just like a really nice, fresh, clean, kind of easily masculine fragrance. Um, I can't imagine this offending many people walking around the streets or whatever. And that's why I like this so much and I find it so easy to wear. So positives for me, um, you can find this for a really great price if you look around. Um, I think it's masculine, but not too masculine. I think it's a good entry level barbershop fragrance. Um, it lasts and projects really, really well, which is, you know, great for spring and summer. Um, it's fairly accessible. You can buy it online pretty much anywhere in the world. You might just pay for it a little bit more um, in other areas. Negative sides to this one. Well, you know, the big one is it's Bond. And a lot of people are just, you know, niche snobs are just kind of put off by the name. They don't want to have anything to do with the brand. They don't like the label. They don't like the prices, etc., etc. Um, and, you know, I kind of agree to a point. Uh, retail price on this is insane. I would never pay 225 US for this with a little dangly necklace. Um, if you're not into barbershop fragrances, if you're not into geranium, yeah, this is probably going to be something you're going to avoid. Overall, though, hey. Overall, though, I think this is a really fantastic spring summer fragrance. Um, I've been wearing this basically for like the last month and a half, somewhat in preparation for my review, but also somewhat just because I really enjoy wearing it. I think it's just so versatile, easy to wear, um, you know, just a people pleaser really, you know, for something just a bit different if you don't want to smell like, you know, uh, Sauvage or Guilty or something like that. So there you go. There's my review. Bond number nine. I love New York for him. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's a nice kind of entry level, fresh barber shop for spring, maybe even for summer. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again soon.